BMW R 1250 GS Adventure I love it I love this motorcycle They say the third one's the charm and this is my third GS Adventure. Now, my first one in 2006 was a non-ABS model. And it was an air and oil-cooled motorcycle, unlike this one. There is some cooling on the heads. There is some liquid cooling. And the engine itself is... A lot more powerful and more torque. I believe I had maybe about a hundred horsepower on that motorcycle. This one's coming in at 136 horsepower and 105 foot-pounds of torque. Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Gil. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Just wanted to bring to you the look of the 1250 GS Adventure stripped down. Let me move these gloves away for a second. Taking off the bags here, put on my SW Motec Engage tank bag, and I got her stripped down. She is ready to go. We're going to do some back roads, some light off road, maybe a little gravel, and uh, we're going to enjoy this bike. So many different ways to enjoy this motorcycle. Let's talk about the versatility of the R. 1250 GS Adventure got the super wide tank providing some serious protection from the elements yeah look at that look at the front of this motorcycle beautiful isn't it beautiful motorcycle providing that touring type protection so you guys could see I am running my sergeant saddle So guys, I have to tell you, I really love the BMW GS series of motorcycles. And this particular one, this 2022 R1250 GS Adventure, is the third GSA that I personally own since 2006. Love these bikes. I have a tendency to come back to this motorcycle because of the versatility. She can be a Tora when she's all loaded up with the side cases, a wet bag across the back if I'm not carrying a passenger, a top case, a tank bag. This particular tank bag I'm running now is the SW Motec Engage Bag. It's followed me for, uh, for a few bikes now. I've simply changed the ring. They're very versatile as well. But the GSA. I mean, it, it's, a, it's an incredible motorcycle. The engine is, is so engaging, this Boxer Twin, so engaging, so much torque throughout the power van. You can load her down, you can strip her down like I did today and really enjoy her. She's coming in at about 600 pounds wet. And that might sound pretty heavy for some of you guys who aren't riding full-on Taurus. But if you're coming off of a Taurus like I am, 600 pounds is nothing. I'm coming off of a Goldwing that was 800 plus pounds, so this feels like a toy. So I'm really enjoying the versatility of this bike. I mean, in a matter of seconds, you can unhook the cases and you've got a, a slimmer bike. Now, slimmer is a relative term here when you're talking about the GSA with the wide 7.9 gallon tank that's providing full protection for my legs here. Such an enjoyable motorcycle. You guys running your GSAs, please leave in the comments below or running any kind of motorcycle, leave in the comments below whether or not you enjoy 
the versatility of your motorcycle, how you can just take off the bags, take, put them back on, throw in a top case, throw in a tank bag within a matter of seconds. Even love the stock exhaust on this motorcycle. Sounds great. Oh, the D cell. This is a short road that I take into my group meetups every Sunday and uh, I really enjoy this road. Very short, but beautiful nonetheless. Today, I have to take advantage of the riding modes. I'm currently in road mode. I'm gonna get her in rain mode because as promised, the weathermen, they got it right this time. I got stuck in a nice little downpour. I must say, that is one advantage of having your side cases on and not being stripped down is you do get additional protection from the rain and the water coming off the sides of cars that pass you or when you hit puddles that's what you get this time of year when you you have humidity you get the chance of thunderstorms and quick showers that dump a, a ton of water on you so what do you do you throw her in rain mode and uh you make do there it is, the versatility of the R1250 GS Adventure. I get to enjoy her in so many different ways. I enjoy her as a tourer. I enjoy her as a commuter, as a back road stretcher, a Sunday morning meetup, just overall. You know the cliche. The GS, it can do everything. Well, yeah, it can. And it does everything so good. This just might be the best motorcycle that I've ever owned. The best all around motorcycle, I should say. By far, it's gotta be. Now, that may have a lot to do with it being an adventure style motorcycle. I owned a, uh, what was it? a 2016 VFR 1200X. Now that was Honda's foray into the adventure market on a large uh, platform with the 1200 motor. That was a V4, had a ton of torque. It was a very powerful motorcycle. The engine was so, 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 so smooth. The skies have cleared up nicely. Let's get her out of rating mode. Get it back into road mode. I like road mode. Guys, get out there. Enjoy your motorcycles. Ride what you got. And let me know. Leave in the comments. Join the discussion. Do you enjoy the versatility of your motorcycle? Maybe it's not just about taking the bags off. Maybe it's adding something on to make it more versatile, more useful for you and your application, how you like to ride and use your motorcycle. I say as long as you're having fun on these two wheels, that's all that really matters. Guys, thanks so much for coming along for the ride. I will see you in the next one. This is GB Winging It. And I'm gonna enjoy the rest of the day on two wheels. Speak to you real soon. I'm out. <laughs>